guys. Hi. I am oh, sorry. <laughs> Oh my god, who do I think I am? Sorry. Hey guys, I am here with the amazing Emma Gannon. Hi. She was with like, can I have the poo emoji, please? <laughs> yes, I feel, I feel myself with this. Yeah. If you don't know who Emma is, Emma is a writer, author now, and social media whiz. Emma just wrote a book. Look at that, it's real. Ooh, it looks good with the emojis. Ta -da. Emma's book is like all about or how you grew up online. Mm -hmm. Do you want to talk about it a bit? What? How yeah. was that? Well, so I found it quite interesting that there's like this murky decade of like the early noughties where we were all online, but mm -hmm. it wasn't really what it is now. And there was like no apps. It was just desktop chat rooms and MSN. Mm -hmm. And um, I just thought, I know it's a bit early to like write a memoir because I'm like 27, but I thought in internet years, yeah, that was a long time ago. That was you know, the days of Internet Explorer and <sighs> pixelated, crappy, like, CD-ROMs mm. and dial-up connection and oh. and just... And I think nostalgia is quite fun anyway. Like, I used to be obsessed with Game Boys. Oh, really? Pokemon's now yeah. cool again. Yeah, it and is. And, like, I love... Didn't we all just love Pokemon back then? In internet years, it's, like, a hundred years ago, the stuff I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. And just the funny things that I learned along the way. And I think teenagers now have so much going on. I yeah. thought I'd share some of my funny, incriminating stories to make them, them, them yeah. feel a bit better. And they were really funny, some of them. I was like, how has all of this happened to one person? <laughs> Thanks. I had... Um, relationships that started and ended on MSN. <laughs> oh my god, so did I. Actually, one birthday, my, my friends and like my family all would like put this like birthday thing out. Mm -hmm. It must have been about 12. And I and I remember being like, I need to just go on MSN really quickly and dump someone so I can enjoy this. <laughs> You're so lucky. I got <laughs> dumped on MSN. Like, how? <laughs> what? Like, you are dumped. <laughs> and I've had this actually in a real life breakup too, where they're clearly trying to say that they don't want to be together anymore <laughs> and they just can't quite say it. And so. Do I, you end up saying it for them? <laughs> I was just like, are you breaking up with me? Like, do you want to break up? And they're like, yeah, thanks, I'm sorry. Like, oh my god. <laughs> and I was just like, cool, that bro. <laughs> Have you ever been dumped like recently by like well not recently that's a bit <laughs> but like by in the in the last decade by text or or like online Yeah, MSN was um was a good good time, but it was also a really really bad time. But then it's funny how you had to wait to log in. Yeah, like you didn't just have it in your pocket. Yeah, you couldn't just check Twitter like we do now. When I was reading a book, I like genuinely had like flashbacks and like the physical feelings of like when you see your crush like be online. Oh my god, <laughs> when it's like diddle, <laughs> diddle, <laughs> and then they. Oh my god, that's that is literally you just got it down to a T, and I just like I'm hot now. <laughs> and stress Ooh, yeah so and then you'd be like do I talk first and then just Ugh. like it'd be about an hour would go by and you'd be like no I'll have to talk first and you just say hey <laughs> hey you ask for people's um stories of like online relationships or meeting people on through social media yes yeah and there were two girls that became friends through meeting on Habbo Hotel yes did Habbo you ever Hotel. use Habbo Hotel yeah I did and I and I used my mum's credit card to buy <gasps> like Wait, no, <laughs> so did I. I, I bought like I like remembered. plants and like yeah. you know and you I mean what I what see, an amazing idea for them to I get kids buying furniture. Yeah. I yes. loved it. And do you remember when you'd like you'd like walk up to someone and be like ASL? Oh my god. And then ASL. and then they'd be like twenty five, like Wait, males. They were that old. From, and all our my friends used to go on it and we used to like meet up in our rooms and stuff. Yeah. But then something came out, like on The Guardian or something, like a few uh, like a year later, like that it's like people would groom people on there. Oh, um, yeah. I see that. Really bad. Yeah. Because you wouldn't know. Because you can privately message people as well. Yeah, so I quickly logged off. Okay, I it don't really think I knew out. what grooming was when I was that No, much. no one does. Yeah. Well, like, I talk about in my book about how, like, uh, in chat rooms, you would, like, get people to do stuff and then all be there with your, like, Ribena on a beanbag, like, <laughs> 15 years old, like, show us your willy. Yeah. And then be like, oh, don't actually. Yeah. I had a few people being like, oh, you were young, like, doing all that that stuff because I'm 14 in one of the chapters where the sex shaming thing happens mm, oh and god yeah. yeah funny because it was so long ago that I can write about it and be really kind of very objective mm -hmm. like it's my older mm -hmm. self talking about my younger self yeah, and like yeah. in a kind of sisterly way 
But I was recording the audiobook and the guy who was doing all the like sound engineering and stuff came in after the chapter and was like, he's a dick. Like that guy. Oh my God. And he was like really angry for me. And I was like, it's, oh, it's, wow. I was like, it's fine. I'm over it. And he was like, oh, I just can't believe that happened to you. Aww. Like, I'm so, I'm so sorry that happened to you. And I was like, that's so nice. And I think he has daughters. So I think oh, it was interesting yeah, yeah. when like parents read the books. I've actually had that. Where... Oh, because they're like, wait, is this what they're doing? Yeah. Oh, God. They're like, I'm not letting my kid read this book. So it is, do you think it's like raunchy? I'd, I could have toned it up. But... I think the first moment where I was just like, ooh, the tone just went up a notch there was when you were during the sexting and you were like, that's when I had my first orgasm. Right, I was yeah. just like, ooh, interesting. Yeah, but you're going to write that. I, that my my book, book also, yeah, I, yeah. I, I, I wrote that recently, actually, like the bit on yeah. my, my first orgasm. It's a whole thing. Oh, I love that. And so when people are like, oh, you're not a little bit like embarrassed about what you wrote in your book, I'm like, well, my, I'm doing my bit not mm-hmm. to be embarrassed. Yeah. Because I think that's me like, doing my feminist thing and being like I'm not going to be defined by things that are taboo when actually it's just being a woman if you were that age now 14 in 2016 how much do you think you would be like sharing on social media I think about this all the time and I'm like I would not trust 14 year old me with Twitter Instagram no 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 (laughs) I'd be like put it down put that down go outside I would be, oh my god, I would be trying to get like a sexy selfie. I was suddenly reminded of top friends. Oh my god, top eight. Yeah. Yeah. But did you, I sometimes just went for a top four because I was like, the politics of this is too much. Well. I was having a top four. Yeah. I would like, it would be like my sign that I'd gone off a friend. I'd be like, you bump them down. You'd bump up number nine into number eight. Yeah, they'd be out. If you were in someone's top eight, then you had to exactly. put them in your top eight. And they'd really know how you were feeling about them, just from that top eight. Yeah. It said everything. Do you remember um, bulletins and, like, pick comment for pick comment? Yes. Oh, my God. And that's that's kind of what it's like now. Sub for sub. Like for like. I think what scares me, though, is, like, um, putting a number on your worth as a teenager. Because now I think, well, when, I, when we were on, on social media, like, I don't think it was a followers thing. You'd said your friends. No, yeah. Like, it wasn't like, I've got this many followers, whereas I think... But when you posted a picture on MySpace, you wanted people to like it and comment on it. Actually, yeah. Do you remember like when you... you'd log in and it'd be like, new friend request, new messages. Oh my God, it's so exciting. And it would, like, seeing that would be amazing. Yeah. It'd be the, buzzing. The best thing. And now, when I log into Facebook and I see loads of notifications, I'm like, all of these are going to be people I don't know <gasps> posting in a group that I did not oh ask my to be God. a part of. Yes. So true. Oh my god, isn't that interesting that like notifications went from yay to uh, uh, yeah. like WhatsApp and meet so many groups. Oh my god, same. Unsubscribe. What are you excited about for social media? Like where it's going? Other than Instagram stories. Oh my what? god, Instagram stories. I'm excited for more people to have a voice mm-hmm. in lots of different areas. I feel like the the playing field has been leveled in the way that you can be discovered in a way that can lead to like mainstream opportunities mm-hmm. that a while ago it was just not possible it was like you'd write a letter into a magazine and be like please read my mm. you know comment or whatever and now like a comment could like go viral and you could like get heard i don't know i just find it really exciting so i'm excited to discover more interesting content creators who are doing different things yeah you have so many people on your podcast that I've never heard of before and all doing amazing things. And I'm just like, how does she know all these people? Like, how is she on top of this? I love the podcast for that reason. So thanks for having me on your channel. Thanks for being here. Um, Go check out Emma's book and podcast in the episode that we did together. And please give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Let us know in the comments any of your, like, MSN, Habbo Hotel. the cringiest memories, the better. Yeah, I need, like old school like internet cringy yes stories can't wait to read them <laughs> um don't forget to subscribe because i make new videos every week and i'll see you soon bye, bye.